bikes, the lab coats are ironed. It can only mean one thing. It's time to get sciency. Yeah. Back by popular demand, uh, Zoe Laughlin from uh, the Institute of Making, my favourite institute. Uh, this week, we'll learn of some weird and wonderful materials uh, that are malleable or Ooh. maybe not. Oh, so, OK. Here we go. What we got? OK. What's that bouncy ball you're bouncing? That's for later. All right, then. Just First teasing up, us. We've got some polycaprolactone. Oh. It's a type of plastic which is thermosoft, so that means it will soften and become solid, soften and become solid. You can keep reforming it. Oh. But this one has a softening point. Oh my god, I've got a magnet in my pocket and it's. <laughs> oh, stuck to the table. Oh, I see you are. Uh, you are such a scientist. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm stuck to the table. I've got a later. magnet in my pocket. Uh -huh. um, so, hot water will cause this special type of plastic to soften. Yeah. Holly, you can what do I do? Pour just, it in? Just tip some in, yeah. The whole thing? Yep, go for it. Oh! OK. Well, it's steamed up, I think. Oh, yeah. I think that's so steamed what up a bit. You can see by the naked eyes that it's starting to... It looks a bit to... like um, candle wax. Yep, and oh, frog spawny, isn't it? It's going transparent. Oh, yeah, it is. So that means it's, it's just softening to the right temperature. Leave it in there for a little bit longer, see if you can see. I'll lift it out and see if you can see how it's now gone clear. Yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, shake yeah. the hot water off. Grab it. What is that going to burn me? Oh no! Grab it. Ah! What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it's it going doing? It's into like a jelly thing. Yeah. So you now you can mold that plastic into any shape you like. So you could mold it around the blade of this knife. Oh, it's going to turn it into a heart. Turn it into a heart. Then. Which was the <laughs> the non rude thing I was thinking of doing. <laughs> yeah. See, that's not what I would have made. <laughs> there you go. There's my heart. There's your heart. So that will now turn hard again. So, for example, in the best traditions of TV, here's one I made earlier. Oh, Squished I see. round the handle of this knife, so you can have a perfectly ergonomic <gasps> handle. And that now. goes totally so oh, totally it does. solid. But can you, you could, hear that? Yeah. You totally could pop solid. it back in the water and reform it again. And make just it continually. Again. Yeah. Oh, I love polycarbonate. Well, <laughs> well, I did. A, I did a special one just for you. Oh look! Oh, look at that! <laughs> love it even more now. That's a beauty. That is. <laughs> So, and for your, you know, if you're old age, for the ergonomic wine opening. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly he loves you even less. Oh, well, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Next now, up. OK, well, What's this will take you back to your childhood. So, this is silly putty. Mm -hmm. and I remember that. It used to come in an egg, didn't it? Yes, it did. Well, this is just a ginormous ball of it that started at a sphere and is slowly going to ooze off the table. Because silly putty is actually a liquid, but it just flows incredibly slowly. slowly. Yeah. But it also has elastic properties, so it's what's called a viscous elastic liquid. And if you therefore roll it into a ball, it bounces. Ooh! Got <laughs> it. So it's, it's it's a bounce. It's a bouncy liquid. In yes. Actual fact. Ooh. Yeah. Because when you give it energy, it becomes Ooh. more solid, uh -huh. and when you leave it, it becomes more liquid. But they're now, unpredictable. Well, they're now using this to develop protective clothing that is soft and malleable when it's on your body, but when it's hit, when you have an impact, it becomes. Solid and hard. Solid, yeah. What? So, what, such That's... as, what would you like a. So, well, Dana, this is oh. a knee pad for motorcyclists that has it inside, but actually, ski suits now use it where you can, again, put it on the joints and things so it's movable. So, on oh, impact, yeah. it, would, it would be much Becomes more rigid. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And when you're a bit stressed, you can just take it off and play with it. Yeah, but you could, you could if you fancied to get me your own back from my comment about your old age, you can. Have a, go at hitting, have, have a go at hitting my... Seriously? Yeah, give it a whack. It will protect me. Hang on, you... Make sure you as get hard the, as you like. the block. Here we go, really ready? Hard, really hard. Oh! oh so hurt. it just bounced off completely. Fine. It bounced right off? Bounced right off. Seriously, I haven't broken your finger? <laughs> Actually, look. Look it's at the dent. Hang on a minute. I've got to go around and get yeah, go that. Get it, go and get it, go and get it, go and get it. OK, let me move down for them. Sorry, where do you want me to move? It's all right. Look, there you go. Look at the dent. You dented it, but the finger is fine. The finger's fine. That's a dent of the hand. Very clever. Well, this, I well know there's blame, there's a claim. This with the kids. Yeah. This is brilliant. So this stuff. is the same sort of phenomenon. Liquids that become more solid when you impact Have you done this before? No. I've done this before. Okay, so this, this is, looks like milk. You know, tip it, slosh it around. But when I punch it... You can no. jump on it. You can jump on it and jump off. Nothing. Look. You were pretending that was me then, weren't you? <laughs> I mean, the glass table is more at risk than... <laughs> and it's really weird when you pick it up, because it does, like, weird things. Yeah. So like, the... it goes to liquid, but when you grab it, it goes solid? Exactly. When you give it energy, it will become more solid. How, how lovely You can even is that? rip it. You can even rip it. Look, scratch, Look. scratch the surface. How good is that? That's amazing. 
How'd you get it off? I don't know. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't look very nice, does it? But you can do this at home. I mean, it's just yeah, cornstarch. Yeah, it's a good one to do with the kids, that. Cornstarch and water. But yeah. the same sort of phenomenon, you know? <laughs> anyway. So when I've been to the hairdressers and they sweep it all up, this they've is, obviously yes. been saving it. This is like a bird's eye view of your head. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? This is steel. 100% steel threads, but tiny, 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 thin steel filaments. That, if we get the microscope on it... Oh, well, you've got one better than me. Yeah. I'll pop. You can see oh, how fine oh, that is. Wow. Now, I'll just get a hair from my head. Are you just about to pull a hair out? Yeah, oh, there's one. Did. OK. So, if I now put my hair... Hang on. Where is it? In the viewfinder, there. Oh, my goodness, look how much bigger it is. One of my hairs across all of the... That's steel amazing. Threads. What's this used for? Well, this was developed as a reinforcement for car tyres. They'd use the fibres and that. But they're now making yarns and even fabrics out of it. So this is now a yarn that uses it. And presumably it is super, 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 super strong. Which yeah, is the super, it's... super strong. Here's a yarn and then knitted into a fabric. And with the strength of steel? Yes. So that could be like a 21st century chain mail. Exactly. But it's oh. also elastic. Because of the way it's been knitted, it has given it... Wow. That's but you have so a, have, cool. can have a go at trying to... Break it, and you just never it. will. I mean, I mean, how strong? I mean, could you lift a car with that? Um, I don't know. I've not tried, but it's definitely... Coming up <laughs> next week. <laughs> and Steve Mulhern will be driving the car. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the magnet, just to prove, again, the steelness. Oh, yeah. Oh! And again with the that? hair. Whipped around. And then wow. on, the, on, the, on the hair as well. Oh, look. Do that on a Phil's head. <laughs> It won't do. Wouldn't you laugh if it actually stuck? You can try the microscope yeah, if it was on the head. Check. <laughs> if it did, just to check what's in there. Imagine if there was just like a little, a just little world of people. <laughs> Hello, we've been here all this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whoville in my head. <laughs> Imagine how funny. Telling that you what be. to do. Very good. Oh, okay, and then and finally, go on. Um, how are we doing for time? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. seconds. This is a ceramic which is the second hardest stuff in the world after diamond, but ceramic like a plate or a cup. And if we just drop it onto this steel plate here, yeah. it will dent it. What? Okay? Really? So are you ready on the camera, Phil? Okay. Can and you that's, see those dents? that's ceramic. Yeah, that's ceramic. And it's not even that heavy. No, and it won't. Oh. Only diamond will scratch that, but it that's makes, a... you know, it makes a dent. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. And there's the dent. There's the dent it made. That's incredible. So you can see thank you. Dance. You're welcome. See you next week. Love two weeks time. Oh, two, two weeks, weeks time. time. Okay, oh, thank you. Just love it. Uh, uh, if you would like more information on the Institute of Making, you'll find details on our website. Yeah, straight after the break, uh, the Chelsea and England star Frank Lampard gives a rare interview. You won't want to miss it. Anyway. And this is on for life. Yes, I think it might be. Uh, In a minute.